Huh? Get off my property! This is gonna be Get her the off my property! Right You're now. security! Get her the fuck off! Don't, Don't touch, touch him! him. Are you security? Don't touch get her the fuck no, off no, my no, property! No, no, Don't no, touch him! Okay, get her off my property! You're security! Okay, no, no, get her the fuck off my property! Don't touch him! Get her the fuck off my property now! Get her the fuck off my property! Oh, you're going with her! I'm going to put Javier, come help me right now! The footage you just saw is Joe Francis being abusive to his staff at Casa Aramara Resort. Joe Francis is a known exploiter, abuser, and R-word. He's a known person to have done that to people. Joe Francis is the founder and creator of Girls Gone Wild, where so many women were exploited and abused by the franchise and those that supported it back then. Joe Francis has avoided any kind of prosecution. He's avoided being held accountable for his crimes by leaving to Mexico. Just because a jury is mentally retarded and jealous of who I am, you know, that jury, you should be put in jail, you stupid idiots. That's all I have to say. You stupid, stupid idiots, you stupid jury, you should be put in jail or line up and shot. You're idiots. It's sad. I mean, that's what they should give the death penalty is stupid juries because I'm not that person. It's awful. Just to convict people because you're jealous of them is, is retarded. And you're a retarded jury and you should be shot dead. You should. If they have the death penalty for juries, you should be shot dead by a firing squad. Now, what other celebrities have the opportunity to leave the country to avoid prosecution? of any sorts or consequences. It's also very known that he's heavily supported by various celebrities like Kim Kardashian, the whole Kardashian clan. Hello? Chris, hey, it's Joe Francis. Joe Francis? Where are you, honey? I I'm in jail. Lance Bass? Mm -hmm. Lance Bass? Mario Lopez? Ashton Kutcher? Quincy Jones? And Diddy? So many of those celebrities have vacationed at Casa Amada, Joe Francis's resort. What is very interesting in the Cassie lawsuit, that definitely something that we have to point out. Number seven, page 23. She writes, by 2017 and 2018, Miss Ventura became desperate to leave Mr. Combs and his abuse of her. She recognized that if she, she stayed with him, she would never be able to have a successful career or ever be physically and mentally safe. She therefore became determined to completely break away from Mr. Combs and his cycle of abuse and make concerted efforts to avoid him. What's really sad about Cassie's lawsuit is that there is a timeline of events where us, the public, we could see pictures of her bruising. We can see that this woman is not okay. And, and if we could see it as the public, I wonder what those close to her would see. see. Around right, this time frame, there was this very interesting article that came out on the Daily Beast where Diddy was spotted at Joe Francis's resort, Casa Amada. At this time, he made quite the stir because he announced that he was marking his 48th birthday with yet another name change to Brother Love. Hey, yo, what's up, y'all? I have some very serious, serious news. Um... I've been praying on this and I, I decided, I know it was risky because I knew it, it could come off as corny to some people. Like, yo, I decided to change my name again. I'm just, I'm just not who I am before. I'm something different. So my new name is Love, a.k.a. Brother Love. I will not be answering the Puffy, Diddy, Puff Daddy, or any of my other monikers, but love or brother love, okay? It's my birthday. I feel good. God is the greatest. I give all glory, and I thank my mama and daddy. Mwah! So back then, Diddy was spotted at the beach and made a celebratory trip to Joe Francis's house, Casa Amada, with his beautiful then-girlfriend, Cassie. We could see various pictures that are being shown on this Daily Mail article where Diddy went shirtless to cool off on the beach and Cassie is wearing a bikini. Now here Diddy is traveling with a group of friends and one of those friends looks a lot like French Montana. Now Casa Amada, to do their promotion, they actually tagged Diddy 
back when he took these pictures. And it's French Montana, Jermaine Dupri, and Diddy that are tagged in this post. And you can actually see him in the Casa Amara promotion. So I'm going to show you Diddy's visit to Casa Aramara just on their IG page. Now, I've muted some of it because of the music, but you could see here Diddy, Jermaine Dupri, French Montana, and the Casa Ama Amara is all tagged in there. They even did a little section for Diddy, okay? And you could see in here Jermaine Dupri, it's all there. Maybe they went on the same vacation, I'm not sure. You got French Montana as well that's featured in this video on the resort's IG page. You see French Montana there in the pool with Diddy. He made a comment on this Daily Mail article that basically said, and this was six years ago, they said, looks like a bruise on Cassie's upper inner right arm. Diddy treats her any kind of way. He even had twins because he knows that she'll never leave him. Now, Diddy actually had twins with Kim Porter, not Cassie. So this person that made the comment six plus years ago is very confused about that. But what I thought was interesting about this comment is that they're also pointing out bruising from years ago that they had noticed. I mean, a lot of people had noticed a lot of bruising. So then it makes you kind of wonder, celebrities like French Montana, Joe, Francis, you know, all these people that this man has surrounded himself with, nobody would speak out for Cassie. Cassie had to come forward and speak out for herself through this See, lawsuit. So people back then, six years ago, or however many years that this event happened, started noticing the bruising. People on the internet had been calling some of this out. You know, the, the fact that some of these industry people could have witnessed Cassie gone through this and that it, the internet has been noticing pictures of like past bruising and saying something but the inner circle that's there doesn't speak out because a they don't want to be you know they don't want to lose deals or re be reprimanded or you know cross fires or hairs with uh someone like diddy or the likes of someone like diddy right it totally reminds me of the movie don't make fun of me but the lifetime movie called um, no one would tell where a teenager, um, you know, she thought she met her dream man and realizes that there was a darker side to his personality. And, you know, at the end of the day, she ends up killed, right? Um, but no one would tell. No one would tell. And that's the thing that this industry is like. It's like nobody says anything. But yet the Internet pays attention to stuff like that, calls out the bruising. Uh, calls out certain things that they notice about Cassie. Um, Diddy's abuses aren't a secret. Nobody should be surprised by this Cassie lawsuit or any other lawsuit that comes out of this. But while Diddy is traveling with this group, and he's also traveling with, based on this post from Casa Amara, you see him traveling with French Montana. They're vacationing. They're in the water. Did this Bruce happen? at this resort or before this resort was french montana aware of this now french montana has had his own allegations out there put out there from people but i mean you could see the closeness of all these individuals and whether they would or wouldn't speak out for someone like cassie and where they stand right now with diddy but here's the question if you have if you have people such as lance bass or other celebrities that support someone like Joe Francis and continue to go to his resort, then it's clear to me that people in the industry will never really speak out. The, the Kim Kardashians of the world, the Ashton Kutcher's who also was in this resort, all these people will never really speak out and continue to support this man who evaded uh, prosecution, who evaded jail time, who evade, who didn't want to be, didn't want to stand on trial for any of these um, accusations and evidence because he really terrorized a lot of women. He exploited women and he continues to do so. Uh, and people continue to support such a man. My question to you is, how is Joe Francis any different than Diddy at this point, given that the crimes are very much they're very much alarming. They may not be similar, but they're alarming. And then you have the likes of like a Kim Kardashian who supports a Joe Francis, who, you know, hasn't said a whole lot about Diddy, but it does kind of make you wonder where she stands. 
And by the way, there was an expose done on Joe Francis, you know, on, on the victims from the Girls Gone Wild. Um, I'm a little surprised that Kim Kardashian hasn't been called out more on social media for this shit because she needs to be. I mean, listen, if you're a Kim K, a Kardashian fan, let me know in the comments. But you got to admit to this. At one point, she was wearing a free Joe Francis t-shirt, okay? You let me know your thoughts in the comments of how complicit she is to a lot of this bullshit in the industry. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbits out.